Hey guys, what's going on? This is episode number nine with Mr. Blake Hans, the moderator of Rock Top. Um, we're just going to take a few minutes to walk through Blake Hans's life with music and what rock means to him. Uh, Blake, take just a few minutes and introduce yourself and what you're all about. Right on. Yeah, uh, my name's Blake. I'm Brian's cousin, actually, and uh, he kind of got this rock top thing going, which is exciting to me because uh, that was the first thing we bonded on as he became into our family was uh, rock music. Uh, rock music for me is uh, pretty much everything. I also play guitar. I posted some videos here and there for you guys to see. But uh, yeah, I mean, rock music, basically, it's a lifestyle, really, you know. Um, so for me, it's... Uh, yeah, it means a lot. And right now, not having concerts been kind of tough. So I've been playing guitar a lot more. And Brian's kind of brought that out of me. Um, but yeah, it's an energy thing. If I'm having a bad day, uh, you know, I got like specific songs, a lot of Metallica stuff. Uh, it really turns things around. And it's okay to have bad energy. And then, you know, hard music can really help that bad energy release and turn it into something good and have a release for that. So for me, I guess that's kind of a uh, a little bit of what it means to me how long have you been playing guitar since i was in fifth grade and uh yeah it started off pretty rough just like with everyone i had some pretty crappy guitars that wouldn't hold tune but to be honest you know i didn't even know what tuning was you just strum and strum and kind of figure it out as you go so yeah i'm 32 now so it's been about 15 16 years kind of off and on playing wow Wait, how old were you in fifth grade? Uh, I would have been, let's see, 10? Nine, 10. Yeah, somewhere around there. So yeah, 15. Oh yeah, wow, dude, it's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing for like 20 years. It doesn't feel like it. I feel like I've been playing for like three right now. I'm trying to get <laughs> all my chops back. <laughs> yeah, I I ran through the math about how long I've been playing and it was about 15, 16 years and I was started in high school so I figured it was longer than what you said so yes it was uh math is not my strong suit <laughs> I just kind of wing things and throw some rough numbers out there so <laughs> you're a fan of fuzzy math yeah yep <laughs> as long as no one does their research I do fine <laughs> then if someone runs the numbers like what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> so um for you like has there anybody been any hard times where you're like, hey, this is a really big moment to have music in my life to bring me through this situation? Is there anybody, has there been any times like that in your life? Uh, definitely, man. Uh, uh, yeah, I can think of lots of times throughout my life. Just like everyone, we all go through stuff. Um, and yeah, that's what's nice about music. It's that constant static control that's always there. And uh, what's nice is a lot of the music I listen to, which a lot of uh, the group listens to as well, it's, it's harder music and it really talks, it has a story to it. And, you know, again, sometimes it's okay to talk about, uh, you know, if you're feeling down or depressed or something and having that music as an outlet, just listening to someone with that energy, man. It's the music itself too. Like I'm very technical when it comes to music with the guitar, like I'm listening to guitars a lot. And literally the guitar itself, you can just hear energy in it. And it's like kind of aggressive. And for me, that's like, uh, a nice way to kind of just let it out and now that you know i'm playing guitar too and so i have that outlet as well so it's all kind of connected um and what's nice about music is that for everybody the universal language that we can all get on the same beat on so yeah when you so when you do your original music and you post it like it's a big push for me for this group to have more original content so for you do you have any more like future thoughts about original content? Are you gonna do some newer, cooler stuff? Like what's your plans for future content? Uh, it's a good question, cause it's been a rough year and uh, I've really started recently to push forward on my dream of kind of having a home studio. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it, but I'm confident now it's happening. It's actually starting this week. Um, so my plan is to get a home studio going get a nice computer that can handle all that stuff like digital audio workstation and I literally have to start from scratch I got to get an interface and all that and I won't nerd out too hard but 
Um, yeah, so my goal is to get some really nice stuff and make some high quality content that uh, uh, is gonna sound sound good. I'm gonna have a lot of fun learning how to mix and all that on the computer. And uh, yeah, I'll do some original stuff, do a lot of covers. And honestly, I'm just looking forward to having uh, fun. I like to do satire stuff. I got a sense of humor, so I could see me covering some songs and just kind of having fun with it. And uh, yeah, just expressing myself through the home studio. I'm getting uh, some GoPros and stuff too, so I can make videos. And there was a guy on Rock Top I saw last night. Uh, gosh, this is terrible. I can't remember his name. It, it might have been Vance or something. I checked him out on Facebook. He's got a uh, talent spell. Uh -huh. And uh, he posted a YouTube video covering some uh, Chevelle song. Colton. In the chain below. Colton. Yeah. Good Colton, Colton. Vance. He seems like he knows what he's doing. Yeah. So right away on the YouTube video, like I scrolled down. So I'm like, oh, this is high quality. So I'm like looking through all his gear. And I'm like looking at the interface he's using. It's the focus, right? And I'm like, oh, that's the one I'm getting. So I'm like, I feel like I'm already on track, and I might have to pick that guy's brain going forward. So I'm gonna run into some glitches, but um, yeah, that's pretty cool that he did that. And that's kind of something I want to do too with the video. And what's crazy now, like older guys like uh, Zach Wild, Dimebag Daryl, uh, Dime Man, if he was still around, I guarantee you he'd be so freaking pissed <laughs> about how we play guitars now. So I'm looking at all these plugins they're called. You do it all through uh, digital software. And I could just see Dime just being like, that's not a real amp. That's not how it works. You can't even hear the feedback. I could, I could just see him losing his mind. So a part of me is kind of like, holy cow, this is like the new thing now. But, you know, I want to be a part of it. And for me, uh, you know, being in Montana, not getting out there, and I've never really played any gigs or anything, having access to all that stuff is going to be amazing. Like, I'm just going to spend days just messing around with different plugins, playing like, literally dime bag Daryl tones through the dime bag plug-in and stuff. It's going to be nuts. I can't That's wait. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we'll see if those come to fruition. Um, kind of the last couple questions I have for you. So say you were a young aged child that's, you know, looking to pick up an instrument. What advice would you give them to start out with? Uh, wow. Yeah. Well, I'm, kind of put me on the spot there for me personally it's a uh, it's easy playing guitar because i love it and i'm not a tom brady fan by any means but the reason that guy's still playing football at 42 is because you can see it in his eyes like he loves it he doesn't care about anything else other than the true passion for the sport and so for me still being able to pick up the guitar and play it like uh it's just a love for the guitar is what helps me grow with this. So truly having a passion for it. So if it's something that's starting to feel like work, because it is work, like you're not going to get better if you're not putting the time in and the practice and this and that, and you're not having fun, yeah. then, you know, maybe maybe you should think about something else. Um, but if you're truly loving it, man, it's you're going to run into some hard spots here and there, but that passion is what's going to drive you. And the fun thing about guitar, it's like video games kind of like you just keep leveling up. Yeah. And it's endless how much better you can get. And it's all up to you how much you want to get better. So that passion and that drive kind of work hand in hand. So if the passion's there, man, like you're going to be fine. And we live in a day and age now where like, man, I got, we got YouTube University, I call it. Like I can learn so much yeah. just from that. So these young players are going to be like uh, yowing mouse stream by the time they're like 15. Right. With all, this, uh, with all the content they have access to and all the lessons and stuff. So yeah, I'll just say, uh, Find out where your passion's at. If you love it, you're gonna be fine and you're gonna grow quick with it. Um, so what did you do for Christmas? Oh, I started a band. Uh, we had my brother, uh, he's never been a singer before and he can't sing really, but he's got a lot of uh, what we call that passion and that energy. So uh, yeah. yeah, we started a band. Uh, apparently it's called Gerbil. He decided it's the name. Uh, I believe uh, you, were, you were on the drums there for a bit and uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we tried to make our own concert since concerts are done, and you know, it was, uh, uh, I would say the spirit, the spirit was there. So, uh, uh. yeah, we cut together and made a band. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! Right, Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh, so, uh, to close this episode out, usually, uh, usually I just ask for any anything advice or feedback or plugs or anything that you want to throw out there to people in rock top that you think is important, you know, types of music that you would think would be posted, anything of, of commentary, please throw it out there at your leisure. Right on. Yeah. 
I've been working a lot this year, so I haven't been as in tune, probably some of the other moderators to rock top, but uh, I guess for the group, you know, it's, it's awesome that we're expressing ourselves. It seems like the content's been positive and in this dark year going into 2021, like, you know, we're looking at maybe getting concerts back and stuff, but uh, I would say use rock top as a release. If you got some stuff going on, bummed about can't having concerts, like, maybe pick up a guitar, learn how to play something. And that's what it seems like rock top can be used for is a platform musically where we can all kind of get on the same page and feed off each other with positive energy. So I know that sounds pretty general, but yeah, just don't be shy to post stuff, keep it positive. And uh, yeah, I'm personally just excited about picking up the guitar again. Thanks to you. Cause it's been like a year. I haven't been playing and I'm sure other players on here know what I'm talking about like sometimes you just go through phases where you're busy and you just it just doesn't happen yeah uh, so I appreciate you getting me back into it and uh, yeah I hope other people like you said start just posting us playing maybe getting some higher end equipment and stuff maybe we'll all start Trent Reznor in our houses and make home studios and then we can have a big collaboration or something so yeah yeah don't be shy to express yourself and play some instruments amen well we're gonna get out of here uh we're going to cut to a clip of uh, Gerbil's uh, unreleased. No. Oh, we're not? Okay. No, you can't. I'm just oh. saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I don't know if people are ready for Gerbil. They are. They'll love it. Uh, What's your name? Gerbil? Thank you for coming out tonight. <laughs> really appreciate you guys coming. And, uh, <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Uh, thank you for being a moderator. Thank you for pushing this group to uh, higher limits and, and your original content is truly appreciated. So uh, thank you. Episode nine with Mr. Blake Hance. He is my cousin, a brother th from another mother. Anything else to say, Blake? Nope, that's it. Uh, just stay tuned for some higher quality content over the next couple of months. And uh, Mr. Vance, uh, I'll probably maybe hitting you up on Messenger or something for some tips on, you know, the focus right interface. And I could nerd out so hard right now. I'm not going to do that. But yeah, I'm going to need some help along this journey because, yeah, there's a lot to that stuff. But I'm excited. Home studio coming. Very cool. Very cool. Blake, it's a pleasure to have you on the show, mm. man. Thank you so much. All right, Brian. Thank you. We'll see you later. Ha, 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 ha.